Good morning, Jim. I've come into some documents that show how to set up the FT897, the USB signal link, and the DM780. With this information, I was able to produce a clean digital PSK31 signal. In this video, I will show you the FT897 menu items to change, how to set up the sound card in the DM780, and where to set the knobs on the USB signal link. If you find this information useful and use it to produce clean PSK31 signals, you will be held responsible. As always, it is up to you to acquire knowledge and use it properly in producing clean signals. This tape will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, Jim. Okay, the first thing we're going to do here is set the menu items. You press F and hold it. And we want to make sure number one Number one, extended menus is set on. Off, on, okay. Then we're going to check number 20. To make sure it says cat, that's default. And then we'll check 37. Digital gain, set it for 50. 38, digital mode, PSK31 U. Digital box, set it for 0. Then we go to 74, processor level, make sure it's 0. Set it by the tuning dial. Then check 75, RF power set. Minimum is 5, it goes up to 100. I'm setting it for 5. Then press F and hold it. Then we want to set a multi-function key. Okay, press F and once. By rotating the VFO knob, you get different ones here. We want I and press the B key here until we get ALC. Then ALC appears. FT897 menu items are set up. Now we're going to check the DM780. We'll go to Options. Then we're going to check the sound card. On the sound card, we want to make sure the input device is the USB audio codex. That is the signal link box. Use the input device, check that, and then make sure the source is wave. Then we can get out of here. Next we want to check the sound card. And we'll go up here to sound card. We want to make sure it's on transmit. Transmit. You have master and wave. Set the master for 100% and for wave about 50%.
then we're done with that. Next we can check the signal link to make sure the knobs are set just right to start with. Now the signal link box, you want to make sure the transmit knob is all the way at minimum. The receive is 50% right in the middle and delay is minimum. Okay, now we want to check the signal link box by making sure delay is a minimum. Rx is right in the middle at the top, 50%, and Tx is minimum. Then we're going to turn on a blank screen for the sending information and hit send. PTT should come on, and we're going to adjust the Tx the volume right here. You see it goes up so far and then it stops. We want to back it down. On the 897 you can see the ALC lines going down. So right about there is no ALC. So you can see it's not five, it's about half. And we stop it. Okay, so we're going to be sending some text. Okay, we're going to adjust it up so we have output and then we back it off so there's no ALC showing on the meter. Even though transmitter set for 5 watts, it only indicates about 3 max. That's just the way the meter works, I guess. So that should be it. You should be able to set it up and run.